PS4 News This week centers on the impending FIFA 18 release coming Tuesday, reports of Destiny 2 errors on PS4 Pro and some amazing Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy sales news. Sony PS4 News FIFA 18 Release Date Update Destiny 2 PS4 Pro Errors Crash Bandicoot Sales FIFA 18 is released this week which is welcome news to PS4 players who have likely been looking on enviously as Xbox One and PC players jumped in early thanks to Air Access. Air Access for those unaware is a cloud-based subscription service with electronic arts that costs £3.99 for a month and gives players the opportunity to play a whole variety of AIA games like Battlefield 1, Mass Effect Andromeda and Madden 18, but it also gives subscribers the chance to play games early before they're released albeit only for 10 hours max. However, Air Access is only available on Xbox One and PC, meaning PS4 users have been unable to join in the FIFA 18 fun. But the FIFA 18 Icon Edition is available from Tuesday and offers the earlier possibly opportunity for PS4 players to finally play the game beyond the free demo. If however you've only ordered the Standard Edition out on Friday then you can still get your FIFA 18 Ultimate Team Squad ready since the FIFA 18 web app is now live. The web app doesn't lock out PS4 users, so while PlayStation users won't be able to experience the full game, it will at least allow them to start making some all-important coins before the in-game transfer markets are flooded with new users opening packs on Friday. Take a look at some of the best FIFA 18 web app trading and investment tips you'll find on the net, courtesy of the FUT Economist. Another big release that's claiming everyone's attention right now is of course Destiny 2, but according to several sources, including Neogaf, Moexaminer.com, and Paul Tassi, a Forbes gaming writer with a good track record there are large quantities of players experiencing issues with the game on PS4 Pro. These reports, according to Neogaf, have particularly plagued the Chinese version of the game, which is suffering from regular frame drops, claims Moexaminer.com. Elsewhere, whilst many are playing without any issues, there are several complaints coming in that frequent crashes and other issues are hindering the experience on the PS4 Pro platform. For some, there are crashes occurring when making an initial social interaction, whilst others are facing freezes as regularly as every few minutes. Paul Tassi echoed these complaints, writing on Twitter Yeah this is starting to happen to me a lot. Every time I return to the game from sleep mode. Sometimes while flying to the tower Bungie are normally fantastic with addressing in-game bugs, especially with their weekly This Week at Bungie post, so either keep an eye out on the blog for any info or follow up any problems with the excellent at Bungie or help Twitter account for extra assistance. Related articles though certainly not new, the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy has also performed admirably this year. Activision's reboot has easily been one of the best received games of the year and arguably one of the best selling, having stolen a march on several games for the number one spot in the chart for more weeks than we can remember. Now, Nico Partners analyst Daniel Ahmed has revealed some striking sales figures with an impromptu post on Twitter. According to the analyst, recent sales figures for the game indicate that the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy has sold over 2.5 million copies so far, worldwide. Was just looking over some numbers and notice that Crash Bandicoot PS4 has already sold over 2.5 million units worldwide. Wow, while obviously something of a fan favorite character, it's still nonetheless surprising that a game such as this would sell quite so impressively. Especially for a game that's only on one platform. Plus, with Christmas still around the corner, it'll be intriguing to see how many it could sell by the end of the year. Just think how well it could do if the rumors of a possible Xbox One Crash Bandicoot release were true. Related articles